What's up guys, in this video we will talk about how to become cybersecurity pro. My name is Hefni, I'm from Egypt, I have nearly 10 years of practical cybersecurity experience, I have a bunch of certifications in GRC and cybersecurity and different IT technologies. I'm creating this video to remove the gap and to unleash how to get a career or start a successful career in cybersecurity. You can reach me on my LinkedIn on the link on the screen. First of all, how to get the basics. I will share my personal experience in this matter. First, when we talk about working in security, you need to have a lot of skills and a lot of exposure with the modern networking design, the system administration, and so on. So you will need to have a clear overview about computer hardware. Certification like IT Essential or A plus from CompTIA will give you this. You will need to know about hardware, assembly, memory, CPU, and different aspects of hardware. You will need also to get familiar with the Linux operating system. Certification like Linux Essential or Essential or Linux Plus will do. Next, you will need to have a clear foundation about Microsoft and the Active Directory system and group policy and so on. And there is no thing better than MCSA certification to give you this overview. You will also need to give, get a clear foundation and expert level knowledge, or let's, let's not say expert level of knowledge, but you will need to know everything about IP addressing, OSI model, TCP, IP, protocol, UDP, and their, and their comparison to, to TCB, uh, get an overview about routing protocol, switching scales, and so on. So CCNA routing and switching will do for basics related to network foundation. After getting all of this, after completing this path, you will need also to have understanding or have a quick overview about VMware because from VMware, we will understand that modern operating system and modern data center are now working on hypervised or, or working on virtualization or using virtualization technology. So understanding the virtualization will help you get as fast as possible in any environment that you will work on. Also, you will need virtualization to practice by using VMware Workstation or VirtualBox to create virtual machines. So Definitely, you will have exposure with VMware during this journey. After completing the above, you will need to get familiar with the scales of PowerShell, using PowerShell to automate scripting, bash scripting, and any programming language. From my personal experience, I advise you to learn more about Python and Ruby because many frameworks related to security and related to penetration testing are written in these two languages. So understanding either Ruby or Python will do. What we are talking here is not to become an expert in Python, for example, or for, inst or for an instance, we are talking about being familiar with Python. Re know how to read the code, know how to analyze the code, and know the purpose of certain code or certain program. After completing PowerShell skills, bash, programming language, you can start working on certifications such as CEH or Pentest Plus or eLearn Security AGBT. Uh, these certifications provide a clear uh, introduction or provide an uh, introduction level for penetration testing or general penetration testing. So, when you are studying a certification like CEH, you will get uh, you will gain uh, a lot of information about tools such as Nmap, Metasploit Framework, Quireshark. Don't forget to apply these techniques. Apply this. Apply what you are learning in offline labs and play in cyber ranges, and read security write-ups. You may also find it beneficial to register in a website such as Hack the Box uh, and, and sol uh, solve uh, uh, their monthly machines that, that which is a, which are, they are releasing every month. Read write-ups about the cracked machines and, and and understand how things are going in relation to penetration testing. So what is what is remaining in this video is to know more about cybersecurity certification. What we will, what we were talking about in the last slide, 
uh, with the clear foundation or the basic foundation that you need to know if you are planning to work in cybersecurity. But here we are, we will talk specifically about different cybersecurity certifications and different measures of cybersecurity. In cybersecurity, we have two distinctions or we have two different teams. We have what is called the blue team and we have what is called the red team. The difference between them are, is the blue team is about offensive security, while red team, uh, sorry, the blue team are about defensive role, but the red team are offensive role. Blue team are protecting, while red team are attacking. They attacking for good. They attacking to unleash the vulnerabilities and uncover uh, the vulnerabilities and weakness points, so the blue team can cover it and provide protection against it. In blue team, we may find a lot of measures as well, or sub-measures, like email security, like network security, like uh, incident forensics, like uh, endpoint security, and uh, SOC and threat intelligence. Each major or each sub-major of this have its own certification system. So if you plan to work as a network security administrator, you may find CCNA security, CCNP security. You may need to learn about, fi about firewalls such as Palo Alto, such as Fortinet, and to know about load balancing and application security firewall. Uh, you mean uh, if you are planning to work in incident response, you may find certifications like CSA, uh, like uh, QRADAR knowledge and Splunk knowledge beneficial for you. As for the red team, red team also have sub majors. We have people in red team which are specialized in exploit development. They have dedicated certifications and cer dedicated career paths for exploit development. We have people uh, interested or uh, working in network penetration testing, so they also have their certification path. We have people who are specialized in web application penetration testing, so they also have their certifications. We have people who are specialized in uh, mobile uh, devices penetration testing, so they also have a dedicated certification. And we may also find people who are specialized in vulnerability assessment, so they could also have their own certifications. So as you can see from the screen here, we have a lot of certification, a lot of categories, a lot of measures. Uh, you may need to, to uh, special, uh, be specialized in single discipline of all of it, but it will be beneficial to know about other disciplines as well, just to understand what other guys are doing and to build a complete picture about how security operation work in a company. So, uh, security certification roadmap. You will not find uh, someone to answer this question for you. If you can ask me, or if you are wondering what is the best uh, measure that you can uh, study for, uh, for example, uh, penetration testing, exploit development, uh, cybersecurity, uh, network security administrator, and so on, you will not find someone who answers this question for you. The answer of this question lies with you. You need to answer this question for you because you need to select what you are passionate, what you have passion about the most. You may, you must follow your passion because, in fact, cybersecurity career is very, very. Uh, uh, I will not say hard career, but it requires a lot of study, a lot of knowledge, a lot of uh, hours and hours of study and uh, sleeping late to uh, upgrade yourself and upgrade your skills and keeping yourself updated. So as long as you love this career and have a passion, uh, you are uh, working in cybersecurity like uh, as like you are playing a game. You will uh, keep up and you will uh, uh, be strong in this career. So you need to ask yourself what matter you the most. What is the field that you are interested uh, about it more than other fields and go for it. I attached with this presentation 
another uh, resource that you may that you may find it beneficial. It, in fact, it's a GitHub project that describe all security certification. It it is a single website that conclude all certifications related to cybersecurity and information security. The major benefit about this website is it includes detailed information about each certification, it cost, it, its cost, and it is updated regularly. You can access this website by scanning the following QR code or type the URL uh, written below in your browser. On the screen we have name of the majors we have communication network security identity access management architecture asset security security operations so all of these are categories in cyber security or in it security in general what is interested uh, interesting about this side is whenever you hover over any box on uh, in this uh, at this screen you will get information about the full name of the certification and the cost of the exam. If you click on any name of this certification or click on any of these boxes, you will be redirected to the official website of the certification. From this website, you can gain more information about the certification curriculum, about the program, about the content uh, uh, of the exam, and what do you expect during the exam. That was all about this video, and thank you for watching, and hope you enjoy the content. Subscribe with our channel to get more content, and see you in our next video.